السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone Welcome to lecture 17 Organic Chemistry 3 This is an English version Today we will talk about lipids Lipids are fatty wax-like molecules found in human body and other organisms The functions of lipids include storing energy, signaling, and acting as a structure component of cell membrane. We classified organic molecules in organic 1 and 2 by their function groups. Here, we defined lipids as substances that can be extracted from cells and tissues by nonpolar organic solvent. So they may have different function groups, but they all are extracted by non-polar organic solvent. Lipids include many types of compounds containing a wide variety of functional groups. Well, lipids could be complex lipids that can be easily hydrolyzed to simpler constituents like wax, okay? And simple lipids that they are not easily hydrolyzed to simpler constituents like terpenoids, steroids, etc. Complex lipids, we have different types, wax, triglycerides, phospholipids, sphingolipids, and sphingolipids, again classified to sphingomyelins, with glycolipids, and again glycolipids has two different types. Waxes. Wax is a lipid which is an ester of a fatty acid and long chain alcohol usually a reduced fatty acid. Note, a wax contains just one fatty acid alcohol ester functional group per molecule. Only one ester functional group. Like the one we have here, it's long chain acid. It's C26 and alcohol part C30 so it's long chain alcohol and long chain reduced fatty acid saturated fatty acids have melting points that increase gradually with their molecular weight the presence of cis double bond lowers the melting point for example let's see stearic acid C18 saturated acid has a melting point of 70 degrees Celsius while C18 with cis double bond like oleic acid has a melting point of 4 degrees Celsius why that's because of the packing the double bond prevent the well stacked structure of the molecules together so here is 70 and here is 4 degree, and here we have the double bond. Now, get an effect triglycerides, hot it, alleha potassium hydroxide wheat, huh? Hayah salih and I'm alleha saponification, chemically hygienic coal. ويديني الصالص بتاع الفاتي ايه؟ الفاتي اسيد اللي احنا بنقول عليها ايه؟ صوب الصابون يبقى كيميكالي الصوب is a sodium or potassium salt of fatty acid the negatively charged carboxylate group is hydrophilic محبة ايه للمية attack to water and long chain اللي موجودة على الفاتي أسيد R1 or 
ار2 اور ار3 بنقول عليها هي ايه هيدروفوبيك دي طارده للميه غير محبه للميه ريبيلد باي ايه ووتر وفي نفس الوقت بنقول عليها ايه ليبو فيليك ان هي اتاكت باي او تو اويل محبه لمين للاويل We saw molecules. Methyls forms around the tiny grease droplet at its center. The salt molecule works at the bridge between polar water molecules and non-polar oil molecules. The oil-loving hydrophobic, the blue squiggly. Tail stick to the oil. And trap oil in the center. Where it cannot come into contact with water. With the oil trapped safely in the center. The missile is soluble in water. And the soapy water is rinsed away. The grease dirt goes along with it. That's how soap works. The usefulness of soaps is limited by their tendency to precipitate out, called scum, of solution of hard water. Hard water is water that is acidic or that contains ions like calcium, magnesium, or iron. If we have a sodium salt of long chain fatty acid, which we call now is soap, in acid medium, it, acid scum is a precipitate, a free acid. Or we have ion exchange if we have hard water containing calcium, for example, we have calcium salt. And again, that is precipitate out. Several commercial laundry soaps contain water softening agent, usually sodium carbonate or sodium phosphate. Explain how these water softening agents allow soaps to be used in water that is hard by in vitro of its pH, low pH, dissolved calcium, magnesium and iron salts. Well, to answer step A, low BH, both sodium carbonate and sodium phosphate will increase the BH above 6, so that the carboxyl group of the soap molecule will remain ionized, thus preventing precipitation. For the presence of calcium, magnesium, and iron, the presence of calcium, magnesium, and iron ions, the carboxylate group of the soap will react and form precipitate called hard water scum. Both carbonate and phosphate ions will form a complex or precipitate with these cations, thereby preventing the precipitation of soap from solution. A triglyceride derived from saturated fatty acid has a higher melting point because it packs more easily into a solid lattice than a triglyceride from the kinked unsaturated fatty acids. For example, triesterine has a melting point 72 degrees Celsius is a saturated fat that packed well in solid lattice. Triolines has a melting point minus 4 degrees Celsius with the same number of carbon atom as triesterine, but triolines has three cis double bonds causing kinked conformation that prevent optimum packing in the solid. Most naturally occurring fats and oils are mixtures of triglycerides 
containing a variety of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Even the individual triglycerides are often mixed containing two or three different fatty acids. In general, oils from plants and cold-blooded animals contain more unsaturation than fats from warm-blooded animals. Give an equation for the complete hydrogenation of triolines using an excess of hydrogen Name the product and predict approximate melting points for the starting material and the product. Well, this is the structure of triolines. Since it has double bonds, we expect that it is liquid at room temperature. Well, if we add excess hydrogen in presence of catalyst like nickel, we are expecting the double bond to be single bond. Well, triesterene has no double bond, carbon-carbon double bonds, so it is solid at room temperature. Transesterification of fats and oils to biodiesel. A base catalyzed transesterification using methanol as the alcohol and sodium hydroxide as the catalyst converts fats and oils to the methyl ester of the three individual fatty acids. So here we have the ester in presence of methanol sodium hydroxide as a catalyst we get glycerol and the methyl ester of the fatty acids with molecular weights about the third of the original triglycerides. These metal esters are more volatile and work well as diesel engines. The mixture of fatty acid metal ester is called biodiesels. Synthetic detergents. Synthetic detergent molecule generally consists of hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. The hydrophobic long chain hydrocarbon is attracted by the particles of oil grease by dispersion force, as we mentioned before. Well, synthetic detergents can be classified as anionic, having negatively charged head, and widely used due to low cost and good performance. They can be used as laundry detergents, dishwashing liquids, and oven cleaners. Cationic Having a positively charged head, uses include cleaning plastics, hair shampoo, fabric softener, and conditioners. Non-ionic or neutral, having an uncharged head, uses include car shampoos, dishwasher detergents, cosmetics. Let's take an example for the anionic synthetic detergent. Sodium salts of sulfonic acids are the most widely used class of synthetic detergents. Sulfonic acids are more acidic than carboxylic acids, so their salts are not protonated even in strongly acidic wash water. Calcium, magnesium, and iron salts of sulfonic acids are soluble in water, so sulfonate salts can be used in hard water without forming scum. This one of the anionic sulfonate detergent. For the cationic detergent, benzyl dimethyl hexadecyl ammonium chloride cationic detergent, that is the structure, and here we have ammonium salt. For the non-ionic surfactant, nonoxynol 9, here is an example, this is structure, here is a hydrophobic tail 
and here is a new run head to prepare the sulfonate detergent start with long chain benzene substituted benzene sulfonation using sulfuric SO3 to form the sulfonic acid with sodium hydroxide you get the sodium salt you can also use the ammonium salt using triisanolamine to form as a salt again another detergent to facilitate the biodegradation of the detergent linear rather than branched hydrocarbon chain are used in preference to branched ones well to form the cationic we start with amine and benzyl substituted benzyl halide in good leaving group to form the salt and if you would like to read more you can just go to the journal of molecular liquids 2020 okay volume 313 one one three five six six again I mean with long chain alkyl bromide again good leaving group to form a salt you would like to read more go to molecules volume 12 page 2341 here 2007 for the neutral species we start with phenol alkylate with long chain olefin in presence of acid as a catalyst we get the para substituted phenol as a major and we get some minor of orso reacting this after separation with acetylene oxide using catalyst we get the nono xenol 9 if you would like to read more go to the Journal American Society Mass Spectrometry 2012, Volume 23, page 996. Well, the synthesis of alkyl benzene sulfonate detergent begins with the partial polymerization of propylene to give the bentamer. So, five pieces molecule of probine using acid catalyst we get this pentamer show how aromatic substitution reactions can convert this pentamer to the final synthetic detergent so reacting this pentamer with benzene in sulfuric acid the pentamer react protonated first to form this cation which alkylate the benzene ring to form the species sulfonation using oleum fuming sulfuric acid to form the sulfonic acid derivative which upon reaction with sodium hydroxide forming the sulfonate salt which is a detergent molecule See you next lecture.